You gotta make a call. It's it's really hard to know. Oh, I saw this guy try to get in earlier. He had a water jug, and the security would not let him in with the water jug because it's a uh, you know union venue and all that. So this is gonna be Stone versus Ali J. Stone on the left, Ali J on the okay, right. Okay, Ali J had a big water jug and yeah. had to chug all of it and then throw it out. It was very sad. So uh, I'm so glad Stone the Fox. Uh, yeah, I'm glad Stone is gonna be uh, on stream again because the last time he was on stream was at Lost Tech City, and it was versus Mango. And I, I had to tell everyone on stream, listen, this guy it's is not good. That bad. He's good. He's just playing Mango. So he's getting kind of rocked right now. <laughs> That'll happen. So I'm glad he's he's playing Ooh. someone who is not Mango. So You're talking about Stone. Yeah, Stone. Okay. Stone. Uh, Ali J. Stone? Uh, yeah, do you know Ali J particularly well? Yeah, I know I know both of these guys. But Stone is considered a little bit better. Um, hard say? to say. Stone just moved here. Stone just moved here, and he's currently probably the best player in San Marcos in San Antonio area. Fascinating. Um, Where's Stone from? Boy, uh, I think he's moved around a couple times. I want to say Florida. Florida, okay. Yeah, Florida was some, some sleeper heavy hitters for sure. I, I got to say, what I'm seeing on a Stone that I think is really interesting, kind of an older school play style uh, from, like, in this particular matchup. Because um, I think the really modern Foxes these days do a lot more like playing lower to the ground and doing a lot of take laser stuff. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing instead is actually just a lot of full hop, which is kind of the old school way, and a lot of like power shield attempts and playing off that. Maybe not super old school, but like that, to me, that's like mid 2010s. Yeah. Um, and it does seem to be, well, it was working for a while, but Ali J just kind of hitting hitting hard that stop. Yeah, Ali J is an interesting one. He's been playing for a while, not not super old school, but he's a couple years at least. Yeah. And then he switched to box, so now he plays a box Falco. And I think it's pretty Yeah, I think it's pretty typical of players that go for a long time on a controller and switch to box. It changed the way he plays. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of stuff that he couldn't do before he can do now. A lot of stuff that he was good at before he's bad at now. So it just kind of forces you into a more new school style of play. And he right. goes for a lot of ooh, that we get up air extension. Oh, that was a oh, but the tech was really good there from Stone. Mm -hmm. Really good uh, to not really <laughs> take much, too much more damage there. Great bear covering the uh, the high angle, able to just kind of back air all of the ways that Fox can descend. Oh, oh, he went for it. The forehead throw shine. Mm -hmm. And then that's a tech skill mistake you never get on a box, mm -hmm. uh, where Stone unfortunately got the accidental forward throw. Almost assuredly wanted to up throw there, but sometimes you just flick the stick the wrong direction. But Stone caught the high recovery with that shine turnaround bear. Now we got almost even last stock. Yeah, and I almost feel with the way the momentum's going. Well, hang on. Oh, just run. Yeah, yeah just do it. Yeah, just do yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah, do yeah. it. No reason to think about that one on Battlefield. Sometimes on some of the other stages, you got to be a little bit discerning. You might grab the ledge, but I think on Battlefield. There's nothing they can do. There's no wall they can take off of. Especially, like, he wasn't at too high percent, but he was so low, it didn't matter. Yeah. Sometimes you, you can worry about, like, can they double jump out before they die if they're at, like, zero, but... All right, Yoshi's interesting. I, I think it's so funny that this has just become Fox's counterpick versus everybody, when this, like, historically was Falco's counterpick or Bart's yeah. counterpick, and now it's just Fox's versus both of those characters. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely the case. Um, on the flip side, you know, I feel like uh, Falco still has strengths on the stage. Falco still hits pretty hard. Yeah, I, I do like this. Uh, it, it limits a lot of people's play style, though. If you're really big into the platform laser movement type uh, neutral as Falco, this is a strong counter. You're gonna have a tough time. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. But if you're the if you're the combo heavy, uh, oh, oh what was that? The no shy guy? I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. It was either Crazy Smash DI that made that uh, weird, or it was a shy guy. Right. Great angle to even oh. give himself a chance. Shine land there from Ali J, but nothing off of it. That would have been really, really slick. Okay, Ali J's getting crazy. Okay. <laughs> Little Bobby Big Balls Jr. out here. Oh, the worst DI I've ever seen in that big here. He gets obliterated and right back at you. <laughs> Stone up a full stock, though. And yeah, those full jumps are scary from Falco because if you get up aired out of one of those, and that's one that's another thing that I think is really, really effective on this stage is that Fox's full jump up air covers everything up there. Mm -hmm. um, and you can throw it out without spending your double jump, and that, by the way, is just the stock Alley J jumping into that shine. And the stone kind of catching a lot of these jumps from Falco, and it's just lights out with Falco. Yeah. You can just snuff the candle if he double jumps into any of your moves. Another one? Oh good air dodge. Right, has him cornered. Let's see. Oh, fights back to center stage. Stone regaining control. Ooh. 
There we go. Very good corner pressure from Ali J. Forcing Stone to do. Okay, oh, that, all you had to do was roll up, my guy. <laughs> Another little opportunity here. And there okay. Hedgehog. You know. But uh, yeah, Stone. Um, I don't know. This is this is. Oh, that's probably yeah. The drill reset. That's surprising because. Earlier in this set, yeah. uh, Stone tried to get a jab reset on uh, Ali J, and he popped right out. And I was just like, this SDI is insane. Yeah, and Ali J, I mean, that, I almost wonder if that was the no mix up mix up, where you, uh, you're you so ready for them to SDI off the platform or, you know, hold to the right and get a roll off of that down air or even like mash get up attack or something that you do nothing and you're hoping that they're, they're just not ready for that. But, but Stone yeah. was. And I think that set in, or that game in particular, Stone looked a lot more confident than the game one. It felt like there was a neutral game feeling out. There was a feeling out of Ali J's neutral in game one that I felt like in game two was uh, was pretty much absent. And we've got the FD counter pick, which I got to say I don't really ever like from Falco. Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm more, I'm always more expecting the Fox to go here than the Falco. Yeah, I, as both of these characters, I'm actually just afraid to counterpick this stage. Because <laughs> I'm just like, as Fox, I'm like, what if my, you know, what if I just get mixed up one time at the ledge and I get forward smashed and die yeah. from a killer combo? And then as Fox, or sorry, as Falco, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get chain grabbed to death. But see, th this should be the stop. And this, oh, drops the but gets another, gets, a, gets the pickup. See, that's the thing with, with We're FD. We're freestyling. Oh even, my God. even if you drop the chain grab, it's so easy to pick it it's back. It's so up. easy. Yeah, and there's a million ways you can you can up throw aerial, you can up throw up tilt. Uh, there, there really is no wrong answer here. You can just up throw up smash and tech chase yeah. at the low percents. Yeah, you're, you're still Fox. You still got the run speed. You can just tech chase. Uh, there's no platforms to mix up the landing. So, oh, great back out of shield. You do not see that every day. See what he's gonna do with this invincibility. Clean it up. Mm -hmm. Up air. And yep, gets it. There it is. Able to reach all the way up there off the first hit up air up till. Excellent opening from that invincibility. Another oh, one. Oh, they one shines out of it. Shine. And they oh, both, both of them. <laughs> they both counter shine. Everyone mashing down B, and for good reason. Oh, I don't think there's a jump on that Falco. Nice for Stone to identify that, but the side B is quick enough to get past that charge by attempt. So much power shield attempt uh, from from Stone, and I mean, why not? Yeah, Ali J's lasering a lot, and you know, I feel like for Stone, he just kind of feels like, well, one power shield, and maybe I can get in there. Yeah, Ali J playing a little bit to keep away. Oh, that what? That wow, was the most chaotic. delayed kill. Yeah, I feel like with a little bit better DI to the corner, he probably would have survived. Just slight, slightest bit yeah. of different yeah, or even like one percent less. Mm -hmm. And that knockdown could have been the stop. Um, this could be the stun. Okay, almost catches the roll. Stone almost positioned for it. it baits it out, but it doesn't move. Don't like that DI. Okay, so 12%, not bad. This is chain grab percent, though. Oh, no, he's just going to end it early with an up smash. Yeah. Probably missed the dash on that second one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, anti-air shine. Oh, nice. Uh, some laser uh, option coverage into some tech chases from Ali J. Right, Stone has completely given up on the chain grab. <laughs> He's just going to do a couple of aerial tech chases, which, again, is perfectly fine on this stage. There are lots of reasons why this is a strong stage, even if you don't chain grab. Right. And oh, oh my yeah, goodness, no. that's just going to get the job done. Ali J getting a chance, but... Sometimes if you don't, if you